duplicate with Photoshop. Okay, already we done yesterday uh, like the selections. Okay, file new document. Just to taking the new document option. Okay, and take the tool by tool and make it to create a new document. So already we know how we can create a new document. So we know how we can, we have to take the width and heights and what are the units we are taking here inches and what is the resolution for practical oriented we just use okay. 72 resolution only and 12 by 12 is the basic size square so good and create a document so it's very clear sir good and i no need to take this palette and just make it keep it only one palette that is layer palette okay so and this one is also clear and come to the already we saw object selection pick selection magic wand tool so come to here guys we have a crop tool. We have a oh. crop tool. So what the crop tool will do? We can crop the unnecessary area. Suppose I just open one document, guys. Okay, sir. I need only from the this much part only. So I can crop it like this and come to here. You can click it as a tick mark, or otherwise you just double click. So in the in your mobile devices also you have a crop option. Yes, so the same crop option here we are taking. So the crop option the crop is nothing but we uh, keeping the necessary area and, and removing the as unnecessary area. Okay, this is called cropping. So just taking a cropping tool, we have a prospective crop tool. Just we can take the angle of the cropping. Automatically the image will change the angle. Like this. If you want to change any angle of perspective as a cropping, just select it and make it some angle of the prospective cropping way. Like this. Just for a fun view. Okay. And what about the slices, sir? Slices we use for web. See, if you take uh, uh, any pro, uh, any vegetables, what you do? You can slice it. Slice it. This is nothing but just giving give a piece. Okay. okay. Same, Same like this only. Come to here. Make it a slice tool, smaller section sub, uh, suitable for web design. Okay, if in the previous days, what happened there, if there is a web template, okay, there is a website means uh, we can go for a section wise, uh, we can slice, we can slice it the, the web design, the web template into a sections. Suppose if there is a, this is the part of section, this is the logo part and I can keep it like this one slice tool. And here we have one more add part. And this is the a image part. And this is a text part. Okay. Yes. And this is the, again, in the text part, we have three type of sections. And finally, footer part. Like this, we can split the template design into a multiple slices. And we can export these slices into a HTML format. Like web format. So file save for web devices. Click it and select anything. Make it save desktop and we can create a, a web. I'm just giving the name. Select this one and make it HTML and images only. Save it. So when we taking this one, so we already done here see if you double click here the image we can see very perfectly the image we can see perfectly but these are the pieces but so what is the just the use of this the pieces okay. so previously the people used to create a website with sections wise means um, like uh, so we can see the website there is a web template let me check it i can explain you with the web template that will be better for us this is the website so they have to write everything as a code in the website in the back end so what happened, sir, no need to write the code here. I can export this complete image 
as an image format into the web, into the website. So the web development people they will ask to give the pieces of images to us so we can we can import that images into our website. So like that the web people and the designing people will sit together and the people use the slice tool to cut the pieces and we have to give these pieces to web development people. So they will directly this image suppose there is a logo image there is a sections image and I need a buttons. No need to go for a text. Why means the text will be directly form as an image. Directly they will insert this one. So come to here. Say for web and devices. File. Export. Save for web and devices. Desktop. Save. Save. Desktop. Directly, this image will inserted into the template. The HTML code automatically inserted this image into here. So like this, we got from the pieces, like this. So no need to see this shade. This shade is there. No, this shade they can't get from the development people. Mm -hmm. They how how can they get? They didn't get why means this is a shades where we integrated in the designing part. Mm -hmm. We already created some design into the back end and we say we given a shade of the images into the background color. So the developer can't give this much of perfectness. So what the developer will ask, sir, I need a piece of image, please cut it and give me. Then the slide, then the designer will come and they'll use slice tool to cut the pieces. Mm -hmm. And we will share these images to the development persons. Directly they will import it, they will insert the links, the images into the links. Okay. But in the olden days, not now. Not now. By means the, uh, uh, the code has been uh, came very advanced level. Okay. And we can get the shades directly there only. Okay. Using with HTML5, CSS3 and JavaScript. So that's why in the olden days, the people will use this slice tool to cut the pieces. But nowadays we are not using this slice tool guys and this is an optional tool that's it don't worry okay no need to focus on this particular part mainly use a crop tool crop tool is nothing but we can crop the document from wherever we need the necessary part and, uh, and the unnecessary part. Sir, select double click. Double click. For cropping no? Okay. Yeah. So take it a new document guys go to the images folder and take any document any document so take it this one and um, take the image sir i need only the image from here to here only so select it and make it a tick mark like confirm the current crop op operation or otherwise come to here and crop it three options guys select it and you can confirm it here only again take it there it will be confirmed or otherwise Select it and double click. Double. Or otherwise, select it and make it a tick operation, current operation. Clear? Any doubts? So, crop tail is done. Okay. Now the frame tool. What the frame tool will do? We can create a placeholder frames or for the images. So, when you take any new document, okay, and I'm just taking 12 by 12 inches for the practical oriented. And I'm just creating one mm, frame. When you're clicking the frame option, we can see two options, guys. Mm -hmm. Here, one is a rectangle tool, and second one is a circle. circle. Okay, just click it here and make it a rectangular frame. So, what the rectangular frame will do, so when you're taking a rectangular selection, we can see any cross symbol here. No, no. but when you're taking a frame, what happened? We have a cross symbol that we call as a 
this is the masking we call as a mask here okay so some mask has been integrated in the frame what is what is that mask so this one only the mask when you're taking the frame now when you're drawing here like this automatically the frame of the mask has been created okay so if you take a circle the circle shape of mask has been created select this one the frame go to the file place embedded or place link so what is this option sir place means we are placing the image in this particular existing document if you open any image means double click it the image will be open into the next document but we are inserting a image in this particular place document okay. and we are selected a frame now so that's why the image is placing into the frame take a move tool and move it sir then select this one sir let's check it file place embedded or link both are similar only same only select this one and make it any image here go to the file place embedded or place link anything you can take it and file embedded i'm just taking and just inserting any image into that particular circle we can take a multiple circles means multiple frames and we can insert file place embedded you can take a n number of frames also yeah any doubts okay delete so let's come to here guys i drop it what eyedropper will do sir i have a i just selected this all the things and i just deleted the option you can take a delete option from here the layer palette or otherwise you can take a delete option in the keyboard yes. it's deleted so take i have a one selection guys that is elliptical marker tool so i have taken a elliptical marker tool and now i can take the new layer here and make it the color and i have a image here file open anything the client asked me to give the this this shirt color to this object how is it possible sir so can i guess the color no can i pick the color yes how can i pick the color sir using with eye dropper tool take a eye dropper and pick the color the color has came okay the color has came now so come to here and make it the alt patch this sir what is the color code sir and you pick the color now take the eye dropper and pick the color you click it and you can see the color here okay so what is the color you can see the color into the multiple styles multiple uh, various formats one is hexa code hexa hexa value you can see it hexa how many letters six letters so this is the six letter of the value of uh, color code hexa code okay and the second thing is rgb code okay and second third one is cmyk code and fourth one is hsb code hue saturation balance red green blue cyan magenta yellow k for krypton and lab shades lab color mode lightness adjustment and balance okay. you got it guys yes sir so this much of type of color shades we can see but we use only two things either we use rgb or otherwise hexa cmyk or hexa also hex cmyk if you go for a print then you use only cmyk if you go for a digital you use rgb only but the hexa value will be universal it will be same for both for both rgb and cmyk both only no so that's why this value is main ipudu nu cmy ki color mode unna hexa kuda na okay kadamma mar rgb ki unnadi idi ki okay kadamma mar adhe so either you have to check the hexa value okay if you copy this hexa value 
okay if you copy this hexa value and you change the color sir again i need that code sir come to here and again you can paste it here oh i didn't uh, copy this one so copy this hexa code and if you change the color and i need the same red color click it here and control v paste see mm -hmm. you can get the same hexa yes, code. so i'm just explaining the color okay so take a eyedropper and you can pick the color like this so it is changing here see any colors you can get directly you need a skin tone color click it you need a lip color click it you need a eye color click it so wherever the colors we can pick from the eyedropper tool okay Okay, yeah. I drop a tool picking the color from one object, image, or text to any other objects or layers. Okay, sir, it's good. I just check and I can pick the color directly. So I just pick the color. So it's clear. It's came, sir. Okay. So when I taking any document here, we have a multiple objects here. Okay. So take the color sampler tool. I drop a just directly. We can pick the color. But color sampler to what what will happen in the color sampler tool? I can click it the SC watercolor, click it here. What happened? I can see the color code. Yes. This we call as information palette. So again, I can click the a tree color, I can click the sky color, and I can pick the colors like this. So we can see RGB color mode. So why RGB mode came, sir? The image is in RGB. The image is in RGB mode. So that's why it came RGB color code. Okay. So this is the second one. We have taken a green actually. What is the color code of green? 124, 156, 57. So click it here, guys. And let's check it. This is the red color, this is the current color. Then let's go with the RGB, how much? 124, 156, and 57. See, the green is came now. Yes. Like this, we can check the color, like color sampler tool. Okay? And come back to the ruler, guys. I'm just closing the tab document, friends. File open. And we can see the images here. Like... Uh, How the image is there guys tell me it is completely cross the document the document has been some cross okay so like this when you take for a rotation we have two things guys if the rotation will be like this this call as a clockwise and if you the rotation will be like this means it is a anti-clockwise then document how is it is Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise. So it has been kept like this, mm -hmm. not like this. Okay. Yes. So what happened? I would like to uh, keep it as a sprite, sir. Mm -hmm. So it has been to the clockwise direction, some radius. Mm -hmm. I would like to change that radius and I have to keep the document as a sprite form. Okay. Then take the ruler tool. Ruler. Okay. And click it here, the ruler tool. And draw it, how the cross it is there. Please draw the cross line, how it is. Okay, good. And go to the image menu. Image rotation. Arbitrary. Image menu. Image rotation. Arbitrary. Click it here. So it is into the clockwise. It should be changed into anti-clockwise. So the counterclockwise is nothing but anti-clockwise. It has been taken. The angle 2 point it's an, we have given any angle no, no. automatically when oh. you have draw a cross line so automatically it has taken as an angle 2.87 and it should be changed into anti-clockwise click it okay guys yeah. the document has been came 
a little bit straight now. See how it changed. So much of changes, sir. Now it's good, sir. Some better than previous. So good, sir. The and it looks some. Uh, it's not looking good. So I would like to crop it. Yeah. Now take a crop tool. Exactly, and take the crop document. Yeah. Now it looks good. Yeah. Now the tools are using the tools. How it's using? You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all we need to do is just uh, create a stage like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's take with any one more example. Control O, open, and I can get any other images. So how the images? Uh, it is into the right side of the document. So take the ruler and just draw the line the cross line how it is the cross line how it is and keep it the perfectly and go to the image menu image menu image rotation and it is into the clock it it, it should be changed into anti clockwise and 5.6 is the radius of the angle click it okay guys and this is the unnecessary area using with crop tool we can clear yes notes tool what is notes tool just giving a sticky notes just giving the some comments i need to give some comment on the head okay and click it when you can see some notes some i can give some recommendation something like that yes Click it. Just giving some comment of the notes. If you select this one and right click, open the notes, close notes, and again right click, open notes. So uh, we can keep it as a comment wise or otherwise. When you working any project here in the company, okay, your time is left. You have you are just uh, going to. Uh, home and how much work you have done just give the status of that work in this comment box mm -hmm. and the next person the next employee will come and continue from that from there to yes what you left okay mir enta work chesaro anta work untindi dan tarvata inchi atanu continue chestaru just giving the information to the uh, the team persons or products or whatever maybe it's like just like a, a file na so yeah uh, it's something like if we like uh, send this to some other person maybe going to see the comments also yes if it is a psd file like we have to like open this into some asking document to the same PSD. same psd yes uh, same document you have to keep it this one and make it as a psd file yes photoshop file then only the comments will be activated mm -hmm. okay so and click it share and make it close sir i would like to delete this uh, information sir right click and delete the notes You understanding yes. so if you want to clear all the things means you can clear all the things or otherwise in the top of the standard properties bar you can clear all the not section count it out so we can divide as a sections like keeping the markings marking so this is the here is the first forehead third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth so the background is 11 so just giving the sections so means it won't be we won't use in the production day but this is the option to giving the marking so the markings ante marks pettukodam markings pettukodam so it is first level second level third level fourth level just keeping the markings okay so we can give the markings n number of markings limit no limit infinity Okay, but this is not a useful. So, in a ocean, in a ocean we can see so many things, but the fisherman will keep take only the fishes. So, like that, what happened here? The product, the application will will give so many options, but the but the designer should do only the production way. So, what you have to learn that you have to learn here. Okay. that 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 what we do in the company that we will explain you which is necessary and which is unnecessary okay so in this part we don't use in the production way this markings okay if you have if you need to keep marking you can work with manual markings that will be better to understanding purpose okay but these are the tools they have implemented but 
in the production way we are not using okay but mainly what we use uh, come to the mo tool taking a rectangle and elliptical tool is important okay and no need to use these two tools okay and making with lasso polygon magnetic we use polygon no need to use these two tools but you have to know that's why i'm explaining and come to the object selection fig selection magic band tool we use object selection and for single color background we use magic band why means it is it is better than fig selection clear guys and come to here sorry and come to here make it uh, crop tool we use only crop tool no need to use this three tools we use only crop. but understanding purpose you can check it and come to the frame tool we use elliptical that's it and come to the eye dropper 3d material 3d we'll see in the 3d level okay leave it okay eye dropper color sampler ruler notch tool and comb tool we use eye dropper and ruler the two are the options we have to work and we have to practice for the production but we will work in the production also for the two options in the regular way guys okay yes, eye dropper and ruler tool clear 3d or that uh, the 3d materials we we'll use from 3d here okay there we can see the option okay and uh, come to the uh, this one the eye dropper is main important guys please practice okay and come to the spot healing brush tool healing brush tool i'm just closing the document now you understand this one look i open guys we have so many images come to the damage photos we can see so many damage photos here the spoiled photos you can check it the old photos here or otherwise you can go for the google friends make it and make it tools you can see so much of damage photos here this concept we call as photo retouching photo retouching retouching so so many photographs we can check it here see friends how the photo re restoration has been done guys very clear no so this is the photo restoration concepts so this one is thing and we can take the damage photos anywhere i can select it and i can go to the image view size so i can select this one and i can save the file click it see how many images we have I have to work this multiple images to uh, for process guys just take the image and click it and save the image keep it as a desktop so i'm just taking the image guys just keeping these three images and go to the damage photos so go to the uh, desktop and make it the images guys it's all photos i'm just keeping here okay and select one image guys here it's like this you can drag and drop into the document you can see the document So our concept is photo re restoration. 
okay that we call as photo uh, retouching concept also photo retouching okay come to here and take the first tool okay come to here just make it like this it is removing good it is removing good so if it is a hairline scar hairline scar ante sannadi hairline geeta okay hairline scar or blots blemishes or any uh, like some heavy scars like this also we can take we can use this tool like this okay then come to the heavy scars is it possible it is not removing okay so what is this tool this is the basic tool this is the basic tool spot healing english spot healing brush tool is a basic tool only to remove the hairline scars okay and a small small dots that's it then come to the healing brush tool what the be healing brush will tool will do alt click to define a source point to be used and to be prepare the image so alt click to define a source point source point means where is the source point suppose if you have a scar here if you have a scar here in, in in my right hand there is a scar okay and this scar i have to remove this scar and i can take the color pixels from my face and i can keep into the hand i can take scar here to here is it possible why Can I take from face face to hand? No. So here the pixels are different. Here the pixels are different. Here the color color is different. Here the color is different. So what happening? So when you take a scar, when you have to remove any scar, you have to take the before pixel beside pixels only. From here the pixel has to remove means you have to take a source from here and you have to place it here the destination. So the same thing it is asking. alt click to define a source point to be used to repair the image means alt click so sir where sir i would like to remove this one so come to here if i remove this one i can take pixels here from the here i can take this pixels to here here the lighting is different no alina the lighting is different so i can't use this pixels to here the shade is a bit dark yes this is dark this is lighter so can i take this pixels to here yes sir this pixels the, uh, this side of the pixels we can take it so that's why i'm saying alt click to find a source point where is your source point yes then hold alt key and click it hold means hold the alt key and click it and release so now where is your source point the beside pixel is our source you can see the plus symbol yeah. so that is our pixels okay it is removed now yes. but little bit is there yeah little bit but but i'm just giving the source of pixels okay and can i use the same source here again i have to take it alt and click it here and again i can change the now it's clear yes sir can i take this one here the same source from here no again alt click it here and means what happening here every time i am changing my source point yes sir every every time change to our source point and i'm just placing the source pixels to destination pixels clear yes sir okay and this is also not a big tool why I mean this is not as a advanced tool why I means if you come to here alt click it and make it this one is it removing It is blurring out. Yes, so this is also not a perfect tool. So these two tools are the basic tools, guys. So then, what about the patch tools, sir? Every scar is in a round shape. This scar is in a round shape. No, but the two tools what you have taken that is in a round shape only. This is in a round shape only. But the the scar is in a round shape. No, then patch tool. patch tool what is patch tool sir it is a very advanced tool to clean the 
blemishes and dots and hair lines so come to here select the source source of the scar and place it the beside of the scar so here it's not went very clearly select this one You just have to like select the scar portion and then make it to the uh, plain area where there is the destination area. The see this is the scar we have. Then don't use the scar to here again. Okay. The beside of the pixels, wherever the relevant pixels is there, we have to place it there only. Understand? So it selects a patch, no? Yes. So we can yes, the patch we are selecting and we are just taking the a new area. So, क्या हुआ इधर? वो select करना, कर को हम नया place है ना नया place, a new place, destination लेना। ऐसे select कर को, वो destination लेना। Select चेस कौन ही? तो अनुकूल ना, पक्कन ना, new pixels में तो मान तीस कोड ना। So, आप pixels एक कर repeat होते नहीं मान के। So, I'm just taking the scan selection and keeping into the new pixels so automatically the new pixels is creating a the removing the scan any doubts guys is it clear the patch tool is clear okay then patch tool is working for heavy scars still it's not happening so this is also not advanced tool for heavy scars okay so then come to here and make it some Make it zoom and you have to practice and it is some patience work, please you have to practice. Okay. Sir, it can heal the doubt to put also. Yes. But it can uh, then change the look of the photo, no? Yes. Means we just want the restoration, not like we don't have to from little bit of the changes only if you want to change the black circles with complete limits you have to take a time and you have to that one also we can remove it okay. no issue okay. everything okay. actually is done no yeah. sir it's clear good then what is the advanced tool sir the advanced tool is clone stamp clone stamp Come to here. This is a heavy scan. The same process. Alt click. Alt click the source point and make it destination point. Is it removing? You have to keep the opacity full. Okay. Now is it removing or not? The opacity and flow, how much opacity should be flow to the area? So, click karko. I said click karna means the opacity is flowing. No. Why means it's coming a little, little bit. Why means we decrease the opacity. We have to give the full of opacity. And then only it will be removed. The same pixels will be flow to here. Now it's removed. So it's a take off, it's a time taking process, you have to do completely. Okay. So some delicate parts, some delicate part means eye, and uh, some any delicate parts, very uh, any crucial parts is there, means you have to decrease the opacity now. That means it looks look uh, when you I keep when I keep a flow and opacity heavy, it looks like blurry, blurish. Okay, the, the blur will flow. Pura blur ho jata. पूरा ओपेसिटी और फ्लो ज्यादा रखने के बारे में वो पूरा क्या होता ब्लर ब्लर चलता इधर मैं क्या करता है द ओपेसिटी एंड फ्लो शुड बी कम वेरी अ लिटिल बिट एंड इट इट शुड बी फ्लो इनटू द वेब आई मीन दिस इज द डेलिकेट इफ आई कीप इट 100% व्हाट हैपेंड
Yes. See, automatically it, it should come complete blur, and the and the pixel will be damaged. So that's why I'm just oh, decrease karna. A little bit pixels. We have a scars inside. So this one see like this. like this and now you can increase why means this is the outer area outer area you can increase it and just click it and again this one alt click you are closing or not And click it here and make it. Is it rhyming? Uh, I think so. Or it's uh, or some of the fan. Maybe system laptop. I think. So select this one and make it clear like this. Somewhat better, sir. How much of change I have done here, sir? How can I check it, sir? So many clicks. I I click there, but how many clicks? So many clicks. I can't come step backward. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So, how many changes I have done here? Come to the history brush tool. History again will get our history back, the original image back. This is original. This is the changes. Control Z and Control Shift Z. Done. Is studying. We done some changes has been done now. So come to here. Here, wherever you removed. History is nothing but. This all the part we have done. See how the clear it's there. Okay. Now it's very clear, guys. I'm very clear. Okay. So the advanced tool is clone stamp and patch tool. Only the two tools we work for this photo retouching. But these two tools are the basic tools. And the last tool remains. Yes, coming. No, no, no. I'm just explaining. Okay. Content aware move tool. What is content aware move tool? We can move the content from one place to it is removing here and we are placing the same content to another place. Okay, just moving from one place to another place. That is content aware move tool. Content aware moving. The content is selected, the content is moving from one place to another place and it is removing here. Okay, and come to here. Go to the red eye tool. What is red eye tool, sir? Come to here. When the yes, when you take a photographs in the night mode, then automatically the right the light reflection will place it to your eyelid. The eyelid become as a red eye. So come to the images and see some images will be red eye. So how it looks? Yes. So the images will be like this. So come to the red eye tool. And what are the properties we can see? The people size. People size is nothing but the center of the origin. Okay. And you can increase the origin of the area. So how much dark and black you need? The dark amount I kept one. So if you kept one and click it, is it coming pure black or gray? Gray. If you want more, you can increase more and click it here. So it's just going to give the black color. Yes. And not the any other color. No, no, no. Any other color, no. Only black color. Why means the click it here and make it click it here. Okay. Just click it. Okay. Ah. So like this, we can change red eye tool to black eye tool. Yes. Okay, black eye. So that is content aware, mode yes. tool and red eye tool. So this is the and mainly we use patch tool and red. 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 
this is also not need. No need to work this one, but we have to check it once. Okay, patch tool and relative. And what is the next step, guys? Clone stamp. Stamp is very important. It's advanced tool to clean the photographs. Very heavy scars. Then and small scars also we can remove. Okay, fine. And but small scars already have given an option here. Patch tool. It's very Spot healing brush tools are the two basic tools only. We can't uh, give that much of clarity. So the blurish will not be, means the, pic, the scars will not be move, uh, will clear uh, perfectly and it looks some like blurry only using these two tools. And then use patch tool, it's very better to batch, patch tool and clone stamp tool to remove the photo retouching concepts. And come to the ready tool, okay fine. Clone stamp tool already we have done. And what about the pattern stamp tool? pattern suppose when i am taking a new document here okay <clears throat> you can see the top of here the pattern pa palettes click it here and i can select this one i can i create a pattern the backgrounds Ooh. and click it here and make it a different patterns nothing like backgrounds the grass Click it here and make it go with, so, uh, back to school concept and come to here and make it, so, sir, all the things, we have a predefined things, this one, and how can we download a different pattern, sir? How can we download a different patterns? So, come to the Google, patterns. For Photoshop, pre-download. Patterns for Photoshop, pre-download. We have a different type of websites. Open three to four websites here. Check it once. Sir, I need uh, this uh, texture is good. Or otherwise, I would like to take a different patterns. Let me check it here. It's watermelons. I need this floral design, it's good, it's looking good, or I, I can take it this way. So when will that copyright issue can come on the designs, if we are like, uh, download any image from Google? Uh, images, we can download from Google, but this is the plugins only. No, no, you are not just free downloading site. Hmm. So where we are like, uh, like Pinterest, we can uh, download any picture, but we can't use it everywhere. Yes. Because they have that copyright issue. Shutterstock, get, uh, Shutterstock also one of the copyright website. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't use the images. And come to the... Uh, Unsplash is over there. Unsplash is a free. free. Yeah. Unsplash, Pixels, Pixabay. So many we have. But we can't use the designs from uh, Pinterest and everywhere. No, no. Because they, they are the copyright. We can take the concept. How we can uh, like get the inspiration and create our own designs. Yes, own designs. Design. Yes. And uh, uh, come to here. We we use see this is the pattern. Okay. Birds and flowers pattern template. Flat uh, classical repeating natural ele elements. Good. Click to So all right, it's downloading. See. <coughs> Right click, show in folder, it is into the downloads, right click, extract. So we can see the image and we can see the pattern plugin. This is dot .pat, dot .pat, come to the Photoshop and go to the patterns, click it here. Make it import patterns and come to the desktop and make it bots and flowers and this is the pattern. Click it load. Come to here. Yes, automatically the patterns will come here. Take any. Yes, I'll tell you. You got it? So this is the patterns. So to increase and decrease the brush size, to increase and decrease the brush size, 
flower brackets left bracket right bracket here okay so one second Do you understand patterns? Okay, so this is the thing guys, okay, and come to the pattern stamp tool. I can take the predefined patterns and I can download the patterns. I can place it here using with import patterns and go to the Google and I can download the patterns here directly. See, take the patterns like this patterns for Photoshop free download. You can use a keyword, you can write it this keyword, okay, or object, no issue. So pattern for Photoshop free download. We can download the patterns and we can import the patterns in Photoshop directly using with pattern stamp tool. Clear? Yes, Any doubts? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. The patterns is closed. Yes, and close stamp is closed. So then what about the history, sir? History means we can get the what I have done the work now that completely we can get our history back. Already explained. Okay, sir, this I is not good. This is very delicate. How can we get this I, sir? So, hmm? yes, already this I is good now. We can select this I. And what is the shortcut for duplicate? Control J for duplicate. Control J to duplicate the layer. So, what the selection we have taken? Select this one and use Control J button. You can get the duplicate of the selected layer. See, you got it. So, please note it down. Duplicate, we have two duplicate shortcuts Alt, drag, and Control J. Duplicate the layer or just the part of the layer. Anything, we can complete you also, we can duplicate. Drag. Yes, that is one shortcut and Control J is one shortcut. It's the same thing, no? It's doing the same thing. Same thing. So come to here and select this one. Already I taken a duplicate, no? So Alt drag means what happened? Just select it, Alt drag. Just hold and drag. Duplicate only. Or otherwise, Control J. Duplicate only. The same shortcut. So what happened? I just kept it here. For, for every layer, we can see the opacity. Decrease opacity, we can see the back side of the transparency. Opacity is transparency. So, 
I would like to transform this object. I would like to transform this object. What is transform? We can increase and decrease the size of the layer. Control T. Control T for transform. So I can drag it like this. It is stretching. So don't do like this stretchings. Do proportional scaling. Hold Alt key and transform the object. For four sides, equal scaling. Okay. So if you just decrease it here and place it here. Okay. And come to here and rotate like this. And double click. Okay. So transform controls. Please note it down. Very, very important. Control T transform. So that's what I'm saying. Control T transform selection to increase and decrease the size of the layer. Okay. Use Control T. You can see the transform controls. Use Control T and hold Alt key and scale it any corner controls, then we'll get proportional scaling. It is nothing but four sets equal scaling. Please note it down. I'll, I'll, take it, I'll, I'll tell again. Okay, done the things. <coughs> so, control T transform. Suppose if we have any image cutting, guys. This is the image cutting process. Okay, control T transform. We can increase and decrease the size now. The same thing I'm telling there also. Just control T, hold Alt key. You can get four sets equal scaling. After OK, taking just double click to activate the layer. Same here also. Same here also. What happened? Select it, Control T. I'm just transforming the layer and rotate the layer. So like this. And I can keep it the very clear. Sir, I would like to erase this one. Make it eraser tool. make it transform a little bit and make it some rotation from outside of the transform like this you can rotate it so there is a color variation yes, sir. there is a color variation with the both somehow we matched see this is completely damaged yes, we matched but there is a little bit of color variation that we will see in the uh, next level okay now it has been matched some more so better than this no So like this we have to do but in the next level we can see that step by step okay so if you take any image what the history brush tool will do we can get our history back what the art history brush tool will do we can get some blur or some styles the back side of the colors will take some floral styles this is art history now take the history and make it some back set of shades. Okay. Like this we can take it florals. In the art history we have different type of tight curl, dab, loose longs, tight longs and so many things we have. See the styles. And come to the history and we can take it the styles in the back set and we just focus on the area like this. So please practice 
and whatever I told, take a damaged photos okay. and do the practice photo restorations and send me the outputs. Uh, sir, what was the only thing you have to send? Like what is Everything. Everything you have to send me. The the this one, the frame tool I need, okay, and the eyedroppers I need, roller roller I need, take a cross documents in from the Google, okay, and make it uh, patch tool and red eye tools, killing brush tools. Clear? Thank you, friends. This is Vamshi Dande as a senior graphic and UI UX designer. Please contact 9030-913 and 914 or please visit our institution in Amirpet, friends. Okay.